Now, if you compare the robo taxis to traditional taxi segment, I mean, it's pretty no brainer. It's kind of a layup, right? Um, of course, of course, there are two key assumptions here that you know must materialize for this to happen. And there's no certainty, obviously, in anything except you know we're all going to die, we're all going to pay taxes. There's nothing certain except that. So the first assumption is that Tesla has to actually solve FSD full autonomy. Now, if you look at the limited launch they had in Austin, Texas they are very very close the assumption number two is that regulators don't throw a monkey wrench into this thing and kill it well again as you can see from the current approach from the u.s government doesn't seem to be the case now if this thing actually launches over the next five years we're talking about a gross margin of 50 percent and that is a hell of a lot higher than the current human taxes 20 percent margin we have and by 2030 Tesla can deploy about a million of these, either through dedicated vehicles or through repurposing of existing Tesla vehicles like they're doing in Austin right now. And the thing here is the utilization, right? With taxis, you're about at 30% utilization because you have to have a human driver, there's maintenance, et cetera, et cetera. With these EVs, self-driving EVs, we're talking about 50% utilization. That's a 12-hour shift. 